My dear listeners, God has a secret message for you today, so don't miss this important message. Watch this message till the end. God says, Angel Numbers 333, 111, 1111, 444, 777, 555, 666, 1212, 433, 422, 1010, 1122, 344, 1818, 999, 711 may resonate with you. The Spirit wants you to go with the flow when it comes to love. Let go of any worries, fears, or the need to control what is going on. It is easier said than done, but it is for your own good. The Spirit may be testing a lot of your faith and patience right now. It may not be the right time to pursue certain events or commitment levels, but do not let this situation discourage you. There is a higher purpose behind every life cycle. Divine timing influences your love life. Your life and love life is currently being heavily adjusted by God in. I feel a male energy on the other side disturbing me. For many it may be a deceased uncle, father, older brother, soulmate, or grandfather. Take only what applies to. In this case, you will be heavily protected and surrounded, and you may want to ask for guidance when it comes to love. You also see your grandmother, aunt, on the other side. You are surrounded by many protectors and ancestors during this year, so when you think about them, they are there. 33. 333. Your spiritual guides want you to turn inward now, spend more time in solitude, and seek more advanced knowledge from them. They may want to grant you a higher level of wisdom and emotional maturity regarding your love life and life in general. Many of you may discover your life purpose or get more clarity on what ideas to pursue next. We see many of you considering options. In your career, you will be guided to slow down and take a step back so that you can take 10 steps forward. Many of you have become more impatient, closed off, or rigid in your love life due to financial responsibilities, pressures, or obligations. I'm sure many of you have inadvertently projected your past experiences onto someone or the future. You may be feeling anxious, anxious, impatient, stressed, indecisive, confused, self-critical, self-sabotaging, emotionally sensitive, defensive, moody, irritable, frustrated, suspicious, depressed, brooding, restless, mentally exhausted, sad, or full of regrets. These are all signs that you are not grounded. Many of you may be going through a period of past life healing or healing while you are involved in past life connections. You may feel like you want information to flow to you or may be experiencing more synchronization. Spirit wants you to pay more attention to the signs coming to you in order to get the confirmation, clarification, and reassurance you need in love and career. Ah. During this time, you may be asked to take care of your inner child. Many of you have inherited the codependent traits of from childhood or past romantic relationships. You hear, don't leave me, and don't hurt me. Many of you may have struggled with abandonment issues, verbal abuse, infidelity, and possibly psychological and sexual abuse. Many of you may subconsciously feel that is not enough for someone because of criticism or lack of recognition from your parents or partners. Some of you may have been codependent in the past or still struggle with codependency. Your past may have been very painful. Spirit understands this and wants to let you know that this may indirectly affect your love life. You are being asked to become more aware of the causal role of, in your love life, your sacral chakra, which represents emotion, sensuality and creativity, needs to be balanced. You may be negatively affected by heartbreak, betrayal, past life trauma, childhood trauma, loss of a loved one, loss of work or friendships, etc. Spirit wants you to work on moving forward emotionally and tenaciously in the future. Don't let the past dictate your present or future. 
approach it with pride and gratitude for what you overcame or experienced in. Everything that happened in your life was a catalyst to make you stronger and braver. Take steps to reinvent yourself with. This can work in work and in love. Believe in yourself. Practice self-love, self-soothing and self-nourishment. The past is now behind you. Overcome the constraints of in your own mind and feel free to enter new chapters and situations. Transform. Make decisions with your heart. Your lost loved ones are surrounding you and are very supportive during this time. Don't worry, we will contact you again someday. Spend more time in nature, near animals, fields, lakes, oceans, connect with yourself and the animals. Leave your worries to them. They are watching you every day. There may be someone in your head who wants to get their act together or succeed. He feels very loved. He may already be committed to you, regardless of his own faults. You, this person, or both may be afraid of losing themselves to each other. They may be reflecting emotions. Maybe they want more, but are scared. They care about you, and seeing you makes their day. Maybe they want to get to know you, owner, on a deeper level. You are incredible to her. Maybe they feel intense sexual passion for you. You are guided to put effort into love and give love a real chance. Give the benefits of and show even more gratitude. Express your love. If you are single, be open to meeting new people and do not take it lightly. The card for love and career is a great chance to bring happiness in your sacred time. Be patient and ask your ancestors if there is anything you need help with. Keep doing what you are doing. You are on the right path, it seems like you have one or more karmic soulmates who have taken revenge or punished you in some way, or at least tried to. I feel like this person is obsessed with your sexual energy. They get drunk just by your closeness and become very sexual and sensual with you. Then at some point it was a turn off. The passion and desire they feel for you is an unhealthy, greedy energy and I don't like it. The sexual chemistry may have been the best thing I've ever experienced, or it may have been a weird experience. I feel two energies, so take it for what it is. Either way, the sexual energy is unhealthy, and you dissolve the bond. You may have children with this person, and you may have treated them like family. Some people may also try to keep in touch with your family, or keep an eye on you through your family. Either way, Expect them to show up and surprise you, and want your energy back. They are scared, panicked and frightened when they see you going through something. They want your help, but more importantly, they want your sexual energy to help them deal with the stress they have created for themselves. It feels like this person is watching you and watching to make sure you don't get taken, but they know they don't really want anything and they have nothing to offer so they are just waiting. The perfect moment to come and say something. For some of you, these are your family members too, and they are also crazy about getting close to your energy. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos.